don't think of Christopher uh, running around and getting the clay, organising the cake and all that sort of things as well. Um, I'm going to cake to uh, light the candle. Because I'm a kid. <laughs> Okay, so would you like to say a few words, Noel, and maybe... Come uh, <laughs> on, oh, no, say a few words. You can say a few words too, Marjorie. Well, thank you to Alan and, and, um, and Chris. Chris, Chris. Chris uh, for this wonderful evening and for going to so much trouble for us. I really can't understand why, why they have, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very nice, thank you, very no. much. <laughs> Pleasure. Well, I think if I can speak for Marjorie and myself, uh, it's a very humbling experience to realise so many friends can gather at one place at one time to help one celebrate what is a pretty important occasion. Uh, I guess 50 years goes so quickly that you wonder where it's all gone. But uh, we've had great times, we've had tough times, as everybody has in their lives. Uh, I remember when we got married, uh, Margie, I'll, I'll let the cat out of the bag now, she was 22 when I married her on her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll never forget the anniversary, but guess what? <laughs> but uh, we had a my mother had died not long before, and Martin's father had died some time before, so we were both pretty much on our own, and I think getting together and having uh, one another was wonderful, and it was just the right thing to do. We, uh, we didn't have much going for us, we didn't have parents to fall back on and things like that, and I think we had something like a hundred pounds between us, and a battered old motor car when we got married, battered old Thing and nine, in fact, with 182,000 miles on the clock. <laughs> and uh, I remember it burnt 44 gallons of oil from Sydney to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a drum with us all the time. But uh, uh, the car, with being a singer, was called Gladys after Gladys Poncruz. And it was shot up so you could see your face in the, uh, in the black duco and uh, the drop top, of course, which we'd had down in good weather. And off we went on a honeymoon from we were married in Northbridge. Off we went on a honeymoon to uh, Blue Mountains. We had our uh, wedding night, and the garden was in at Black Heath. The old garden was in, oh, yeah. and uh, and then the next day to celebrate our wedding, uh, being a, a geologist then and involved in coal exploration. I took my idea and gave him the coal mine. The mine was a bit upset. The women weren't allowed to go out yeah. and coal mines in those days. But uh, we went down the old state mine of Lithgow and I knew the manager there quite well and uh, I said, oh, they hate me. Oh, special occasion. <laughs> 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 Controversy in that sense, but uh, one way or another, we've uh, we made it work well. Uh, we've been uh, so very lucky to have lots of good friends. You know. A lovely daughter, for me, Kate, and uh, I. I think I owe a lot of gratitude to to Alan and Chris for booming up this wonderful idea. Yes. Uh, I had no conception. I. I knew we were coming to have dinner with us tonight, but um, beyond that, uh, I thought maybe some of the friends of yours maybe might be along. Uh, and when we came up the stairs there and, <laughs> and saw so many familiar faces, it was uh, a, a very, a very humbling experience because to know that, that so many people had made so much effort to be here on this one night was a a wonderful thing to feel that they wanted to do that. Uh, 
I, I, I really don't know how we deserve it. <laughs> but, uh, but it's wonderful that it did happen and we, uh, I'd like to say on behalf of Marjorie and myself, thank you most sincerely to everyone for being here and helping us celebrate an occasion. Well, we will never forget, obviously. It was a wonderful occasion. And uh, to uh, all my good friends in the Camp Quarter Club in Crobus, my good next door neighbours, and uh, everybody who's here tonight. Uh, I think all I can really say is you've made me feel very humble and I do appreciate so very much that you have made this such an occasion for us. And especially to Alan and Chris, it was wonderful. <laughs>
John Howard and Dan have done the right thing in England. Yeah. 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 yeah.